Welcome back everyone, today we're going to Super Nintendo World. This was an absolute highlight of the trip for me. I've been wanting to go for years. I was literally like a kid on Christmas morning, just ready to experience it all. Here's a classic photo of the Universal Globe. All through Universal Studio, they had cool shops with merch to buy. Here's one of the storefronts here, but we'll be going to the shop a little bit later, okay? The attention to detail even approaching Super Nintendo World was incredible. They've even got the arrows! The arrows are here! They had question mark blocks. Okay. There was even points on the floor. We bought two power bands because we wanted to experience as much as we could in the area. But you can do the main attractions without them. Steph got the peach band, and I got my man Luigi. Very good, moving on. This was the entrance to the area, and it was raining. All day. But that didn't stop my excitement at all. The line to get a photo in front of the sign and entrance was over 20 minutes long, so we didn't really bother with that, because we had a date with destiny. After going through the pipe, we were transported into the world of Mario, starting in Peach's castle with some very nostalgic photos on the wall. Then we walked out to be greeted with a spectacular view of the park. It's Princess Peach! Please enjoy these lovely photos and mentally prepare yourselves to watch us punch blocks all day. Punch it, Steph! Yeah! That's enough now, you only get it all you get. <laughs> I really loved how everywhere you looked was visually enticing. Every direction had something fun to look at, something to interact with, something to see. There were even Pikmin Easter eggs hiding all over the park. Wow. I'm glad to climb these stairs. Our first attraction for the day was the Mario Kart ride where the line gave us a thorough tour through Bowser's Castle. Wow. Honestly, the decorations here were incredible. The attention to detail was insane. What a majestic photo. They had all the Mario Kart trophies lined up in a hallway along with a special Universal Trophy too. I really love this stained glass piranha plant lamp. I've never seen something like that before. They also had silly book titles referencing past Mario Kart games, including Mirror Mode. What a special boy. Wow. Mario Kart TV lives on. Harbour. Right before we got to the actual carts, they had an explanation area with all these cool character racing suits. It was just so great to see. This is all we're going to show you before we go on the ride. The ride was fantastic. It's such a Nintendo ride. I can't really explain it more than that except that it's just something you have to experience for yourself. Wow. Let's go shopping. I don't think I, I don't think it suits me. The fish. Oh, lovely. It's good. Ah, yep. Yeah, really uh, accentuates your forehead. Yeah, the chin strap. Oh, I have to see the chin strap. There we go. How's that? Nice and round. Oh. Do I have a little fuse at the top of my head? Uh -huh. There he is. Beep -a -doop -a -boop -boop -beep -beep -a -doop -boop. Oh, yeah, there you go. Matches your shirt as well. <laughs> mm. Yes. Throughout the rest of the afternoon, Steph and I participated in loads of brick smashing and key activities. If you have a power band, they can unlock special stamps and scores in the Universal app, and even a bonus Bowser Jr. attraction. This is one of the interactive activities. It's a touch screen that gives you power-ups to break blocks and get heaps of coins and take down bad guys. It then leads to a bob mini minigame that gives you a key. Oh, that's so cool! 
This minigame was really fun. You had to hit the power blocks at the right time to set off a chain so the shell would go up the pipe and then you get a key. reservation for the Toad Cafe so we went to Yoshi's Snack Island and we got some, uh, some melon and this y thing. Yucky soba. Yucky soba. Mm -hmm. Yummy. It tastes green. It tastes like it's green. Mmm. It's so good. <laughs> this is when I bought the coolest Mario Kart jacket in existence. Sorry, we're only using iPhone microphones, so basically what I'm saying is just how cool it is. You might hear me say something like, I'm a racer, in a second. I'm a racer. There it is. I'm a racer. There was even the roulette blocks to try your luck at. Watch me go for all four stars. Toad Cafe was a true highlight of our day. The cafe was absolutely full of charm and silly Mario references. They had cafe renditions of Mario music playing and digital windows showing the Mushroom Kingdom world outside, as well as Toad's cooking in the kitchen. Toad! I love you. This is the number for your table. <laughs> it's a dice block. The meals were pretty expensive, honestly but they looked and tasted so good. So I thought it was absolutely worth experiencing at least once. This is our meal. I got the Mario burger. Steph got the fire flower spaghetti, spaghetti. and meatballs. <laughs> and we got the, the gold bowl cake and the question block tiramisu. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Yoshi's Adventure in the lion egg. Tree. Hello Toadette, you are cool, but hello Pikmin, you are cooler. Here we are on the back of Yoshi, uh, here's Steph, and here's the rain. <laughs> oh no, look at that. Oh my knees. <laughs> it's going to get so uh, wet, and we're going so slowly. <laughs> uh, wow. Baby Mario! And that's the blue egg! Make sure you push the blue egg, everyone! Wow, we did it! And there's Baby Peach! That's not canon. Hi, Poochie! Bye, Poochie! <laughs> Guys, it's the golden egg. We found the golden egg. We've done it. Luigi! Bye, Mario! I love you guys! Inspiration to us all! Bye! Hello! And that was our day at Super Nintendo World. Despite all the rain, I still had loads of fun, and I got a really cool jacket to commemorate my time there, and got to experience all of the fun rides that it had to offer. Yay! Wow! Thanks so much for watching. Remember to bring your A-game.